Good morning. You have been given your login information and I wanted to do a quick video to walk you through the process because I know it is a lot of information and it's different login. So I just wanted to make sure you had what you needed and you were able to log in. Once you click the link, it will bring you to this screen, the Classlink Launchpad. Okay. This is where you're going to put in your Classlink login information. I'm going to use a student who I know hasn't joined Google Classroom yet, so I can show you exactly what to do. So let me type in his information. The password, BC. Okay, so now that I have that typed in, I wanted to tell you a little bit of information about process. These first two letters are your initials of your child's first and last name. The other numbers behind it are your student ID number. Your password is capital initials with the birth date. Okay, and then the birth date, for example, if it's February 3rd, 1979, that is me, you would put in 2, 3, 1979. You wouldn't put the zeros before the 2 or the 3. The same goes for your student ID number. This is supposed to have a zero right here in front of it, but we took the zero off. It's called no leading zeros. So that's why it gets confusing. So I'm going to sign him in. And then it brings you to our dashboard of class link. This has a lot of information. It's a bunch of different tabs. We barely use any of them, just to let you know. So don't let it freak you out. The one right here that we're going to be clicking on is Google Classroom. And see, this is, I have to sign out of my Google Classroom, sorry. Make sure that you're signed out of all Google accounts or to automatically pull up your default account, which is mine since this is my computer. And as you can see, here's my three kids that we're doing work with at home. So I'm going to use another account. And then you're going to type in your Google login information. It's going to be the email address with at mycattoschools.org. So let me type this in real quick. And again, this has no leading zeros. Okay, and click next. And then you're going to enter the password. I gave you it should be almost exactly the same as your previous password except lowercase initials you see why we get confused too I wish they would make it one way for everything okay and click next okay so you are now signed into Google if you've never signed in before it's going to tell you to accept the terms of service da 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 so when you get in, you're going to be prompted to go to Google Classroom. I'm going to hit continue. He is a student. Okay, and then here is where you join our Google Classroom. Here's Art. You can join that one. I'm going to join him. And I'll join him here in our classroom. Once you're done joining, this is going to be the main spot for classwork is where you're going to look and you complete any of these right here. I'll be assigning more throughout the week or throughout the coming weeks. So I've assigned one last week and then two this week. Okay, so right now I'm going to go out of, I'm just going to X this out and then thank you. I'm going to show you the next thing that I want you to look at. It's going to be all the way at the bottom and you can click on Zern. Okay, 
it takes a second to log in. Okay, so once you get on this, these are different activities that the kids can complete, and they can do this as much as they want. It's just little games that they play, and it'll grow with them. So you can even work on this throughout the summer, and the more they work on it, the better they get, and it might start actually giving them first grade work to do instead of kindergarten. Just depends, and it works at your own pace. Okay, so... I'm going to click out of that and if you want quick access to our website you can click on the Wolfpack button sorry my internet's slow <laughs> and when this pops up you can go to faculty Scroll down, and we're all using Mrs. Townsend since we're all working together to keep things uniform, and it'll take you straight to our website. Okay, and remember, as you are working, the weekly assignments, well, weekly and daily, we put them up weekly, and then you'll scroll down and do just this assignment for Tuesday and just this assignment for Wednesday and you'll go through all three of them skills math and knowledge okay I hope this helps you out if you have any questions please let me know I don't mind answering anything just let me know how y'all are doing with schoolwork and I love and miss the kids so much tell them I said hello give them big giant squeeze and hug for me. Thanks. Bye.